Mission two now. Great, great. Where's great? Easy there. I heard you the first time, old bearded one. Bearded one? Why you? A slip of the tongue. My apologies, Commander. Enough! Just get ready to move out! Now listen, Orange Star forces have been deployed where I anticipated. Their commanding officer is an untested youngster, but he's not alone. He's working with an advisor, Malice. So don't let your guard down. Our contingent in this area has some indirect combat units for you to use. Now get going, Mr. Sharpshooter! My voices are terrible, I admit this. What? You want me to go in personally? Like, in person? Why, you lazy, no good... What do you think a commanding officer does? If you don't get moving. Alright, keep your beard on. I don't much like the idea, but I'm going. Gone at last. He's an impotent rogue, but he's also the best marksman I've ever seen. These orange stuff fools will never know what hit them. Perfect. Ha 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 ha! So, mission two is against our old friend Grit, not evil Grit, and uh, Grit, as ever, is in bloody furiating to fight against because of his improved attack range. Malice, Andy, can you hear me? What's up now? You've been given the authority to use bases to deploy new units. What's the fear? Malice hasn't received instruction on how to do this. But you're up to speed, right, Andy? I don't need to be told. Bugger off, the pair of you. So yes, this would be the first mission where you get deployment options. You can't deploy every unit in the game, though. You have a limited selection. No, I'm lying. I'm thinking of a different advanced force. You can deploy any unit in the game. Uh, even right from the off. But obviously your funds are much more limited than they might otherwise be. And Grit being Grit, he has you pretty much locked down from the start with this, um, with a bunch of indirect units sitting all over the place, making you sad to be alive. So, the best thing to do to begin with is start capturing here. We can pretty much just do this and set ourselves up, making sure we're clear of that. And since we don't have much money to work with, the best thing to do to begin with is to actually build mechs to go and attack this area over the river. Possum spear. This area won't blue moons to begin with. Blue moon is just plain greedy, that's what it is. Fighting for these folks just don't sit well with me. Well, I guess I'll just mosey on out and see what happens. Good old Grit is here. His music is impossible not to sing to. Malice, Andy, pick up now. Yeah, now we're here. What's going on? We've learned that Grit is the opposing seer. Grit is an indirect fire expert whose attack range is larger than normal. Plus, his range gets even bigger when he uses his <laughs> Don't read too much into that. Make sure you check Grit's attack range throughout the battle. Understood. Hey, Nell. How do you know so much about this guy? Well, we used to be... friends. Um, that's all I have to tell you. Nell out. Oh, I wonder. I wonder, Andy. You poor, naive fool. So, we can capture there, and we can blap this tank into non-existence. This is perfect. Now, this recon's going to be coming in, and I expect a similar thing is going to happen. So I'm actually going to repair my, um, my APC to use it as a better decoy. And start sending the mechs over the river. We need to start getting control of these cities as soon as we can. So shoot! Shooting is an answer. To your problems, also shelling them. As a side note, I probably won't be keeping out the voice acting throughout. It's gonna do play Merry Help with my throat, nothing else. Anyway, he's an idiot, so let's finish off this recon before it becomes an issue. Now we need to make sure we keep our eye on this rocket because it is dangerous. It can completely ruin your attack before it even begins, if it so chooses. And it often does. No, I think we need the artillery over here, don't we? Stop dealing with those assholes. And now we want to build tanks to start moving forward. Also, another APC wouldn't have gone amiss there, but oh well. Fortunately, Grit cannot deploy units on this map, so you only have what he begins with to deal with. Problems are arising already, as you can see. 
We can only go, only go so far forward. This is a problem I know. We're gonna have to deal with it. So let's see what we can do. We need to be using decoys effectively uh, to progress here, really. So I'm going to build some more of them. You need to make him shoot at your your APCs and not your valuable units, so you can pick off his indirect units without getting trounced in a horrible fit of pain, of pain and murder. So we can't quite get in range. Not quite yet. What's the best way to approach here? Well, I think the artillery is going to be functionally quite useless, so let's do that. Yeah, I like that plan. Then we can move a tank and an APC forward. And continue to clean up over here. Because then we can get the funds to build better units and uh, maybe make some forward progress. And yeah, it wouldn't go amiss. I would say... Grit doesn't move a whole lot during this battle, which is nice. He only really moves into attack if he has direct range to do so. If we avoid this rocket entirely and bait his artillery into shooting an APC, that would be grand. So let's do that. If we pop it there, you can only hit it with this one. So we can safely move a tank in to attack this artillery and destroy it. Boom. This rocket is safely out of the way. This tank's probably going to move into attack. But this artillery will shoot this and leave us unscathed. And we have enough units moving in to, uh, to deal with that. Now, if I do that, I should be able to get my artillery a bit nearer as well. Without getting it shelled to hell and back. Blat. Okay, we now have removed all the infantry and mech units that were contesting these cities. So we can grab those and move on in. And kill. And kill everything. Certainly that's the plan. Okay, so as expected. But that is fine. I'm actually happier with that. Because I can afford to lose one unit. That's not a problem. Alright. So now... Well, we can go ahead and do this. Or can we? I'm not sure that we want to. It's something we need to consider. He hasn't protected it from direct attack though. So... Let's do that. Right now. Okay, we need to make sure we keep an eye on his um, power bar as well. It is now full. And um, the thing about Grit is his regular CO power in Advanced Wars 1 is, I think, the same as his superpower from Advanced Wars 2. So he gains plus two range by using it, not one, as you might expect. Grit's a tough one to deal with in this game, and no mistake. So I'm going to take some hits in this coming round, and there's not a lot I can do about it. But I might be able to bait him into shooting an APC instead of anything valuable. Let's see, one, two. So that one can only hit this tank, which is unlikely to kill it. It's this one I'm mainly concerned about. So let's give that one the APC to shoot. And hopefully, nothing else can go wrong, right? In fact, if I do this, I'll be able to finish his artillery off with mine. Makes life a bit easier for the future. I would say, I would know. And so would you who? Capturing is fun. It is profitable too. You know it is true. You know it is too. I'm going to start saving up now. Uh, so we're getting 11,000 coming in. So if I wanted a medium tank, which I obviously do, I should probably not build anything bigger than the recon. Here comes the sniper attack. It's going to sting. In Advance Wars 1, power... Oh, dear. I guess it did kill it. Oh, fuck. Uh, CO powers don't give you a persistent theme of their own. They give you that little jingle, and then it's back to your regular uh, your regular music. That hurt a lot more than I'd hoped it would. I timed that out pretty badly, so S-ranking this one is probably not going to happen. But that's okay. We don't really need to anyway, right? Only tryhards S-rank every map. <laughs> mew, 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 mew. Said malice, interfered of bitterness, bitterness and rage, also sadness on the cards. It's always the same. 
and let's get ourselves a medium tank. Now, interesting he didn't move in to attack there. I thought he would with this. Well, I guess it's not in range or anything, is it? So, really, I mean, ugh, if I move in there, I'm just going to get hit a lot. Fuck it. Gung ho, motherfucker! Send in everything. I don't care anymore. I think I kind of threw out any idea of getting an S rank here, so I'm, I'm happy to just fucking gung ho this now. You never know, he might shoot the mechs. As I said before, the AI is not the brightest in the Vulsals 1. I am okay with this. Heh. Alright, he didn't focus fire on the anti air at least. That's something. And if I use my power now, I have got a plan! Prepare. My plan is brilliant. Don't you tell me that it isn't. I won't listen to your lies. Your cheery lies will be completely denied all day long. So if I can knock this rocket down a bit. Ugh, that's all right. Hmm, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I can do it, but I need to do this first. Get rid of that one. And get rid of that one. And then if I meet shield, I might be able to get his. Um, Medium tank. It depends what he does with it, I suppose. Well, let's assume that he's going to be an idiot. I hope he doesn't finish my anti-air off. That's going to make things very sad indeed. Very quickly. I guess that we will find out soon. But until then, all we can do is build many tanks. What else do you want to do? Tell him. Get shot in the face! Well, he no longer has any indirect units. Blarg! Not that he fucking needs them. So let's. Yeah, that works. Okay, now we can set the trap with, our, with artilleries, hopefully. Mm, yeah, if he attacks that one, then he'll get hit by this one. So it should be fine. Uh, I'm just going to keep building units for the technique score that's almost certainly going to be terrible. It's fine. Uh, move some other stuff in. Again, maybe he'll be done. Maybe he'll attack the infantry. We can only hope that this will be the case. Yeah, that'll do, yeah. Alright, go on then. Blah! Alright, this works. Because now I can just shell it out of existence. Now I can even do this. I can win. How about you? Don't think that you can. He's gonna spam tanks. Tank spam is a valid strategy, and you know that it'd be. That it'd be true. Oh, would you just die? Hey there, Junior. And what was your partner's name again? Malice? At this point, I'm officially gonna stop voice acting. I'm not going to read the text out because, I mean, it's on the screen, you can see it. This is oh, okay. I actually did get the S rank, I don't know how. Anyway, I'll take it. Another 12 coins, another successful mission. For the Andinator. And his cheesy grin. You could grind a pencil on that to a fine point. I don't know why you would. It's like a terrible idea. Anyway, saving our game. 